good evening friends welcome back to my channel infinite trade my name is robin and let's do a nifty and bank nifty analysis for tomorrow and also we'll see what happened today so if you remember uh, like in my yesterday's video i had mentioned a couple of levels uh, in nifty as well as in bank nifty so what was that level let me just tell you all so i said nifty if it breaks 17 725 then we'll be buying put option similarly uh, for bank nifty i said somewhere close to 39 1 uh, 115 to 150 so this was that place where i said uh, we'll buy put option and if you remember i said nifty if it breaks 725 it can fall up to 17 624 and it fell beyond that so that was something nice and also if bank nifty if it breaks this level i had told you that it may test 38 800 okay and it almost uh, tried to test a level but since the fall came in uh, quite late it did not touch the line that i drew but there is a possibility it may touch tomorrow so let me just activate those lines and show you all So this was the blue line that I was talking about, the 38.812, okay? So we made a low of uh, 8.61, so just about 35 to 40 points was remaining. However, in Nifty, uh, we did touch it quite easily, okay? So this was the level, like this was the target, and then it gave further fall. Uh, so there were a couple of uh, friends of mine who were uh, online with me i told them that nifty may reach 17520 and it did that too so this is how uh, you know the levels give you confidence so you know even if you uh, go and trade the levels that i draw on my chart uh, it will make a huge difference okay so these are some simple support and resistance so you know if you look at this place like nifty came here waited here for some time then it broke it then immediately took support at 624 and then it reversed and then again took resistance at the level which it broke earlier and then it came down broke 624 consolidated and then a further fall to the next level so similarly tomorrow if it breaks this level obviously it will fall down until uh, 17405 so that's how these levels are uh, important so anyways uh, this was just to let you all know how the levels work properly when you mark the support and resistance uh, in a uh, i would say in a better way okay but usually support and resistance is something which you understand the concept then uh, almost it becomes easier for everyone to mark the only difference would be you know some slight uh, here and there uh, some might put a support 10 or 20 points beyond uh, what I've put or some may put 10 or 20 points uh, before that I've put. So that comes with experience and slowly and gradually we can correct those uh, levels. But whatever uh, everyone draws as a part of support and resistance, like I taught you the Dow theory levels, things are going to be the same. Okay. So yeah, let's begin our analysis for tomorrow. Let's quickly check out uh, what should be the plan. So firstly, we'll see what happened in the cash market today. So in the cash market, uh, FIS have sold for about 1600 crores here. And DIS have also sold around 370 crores. So let me just tell you all. So DI has been, uh, you know, buying since last uh, three to four days. So that was because to keep the market up, especially during the budget. So what happens is, uh, you know, during budget, so obviously like, uh, you know, the government, which is uh, currently in uh, sitting in the Delhi. So what they do is, uh, you know, to showcase people that our budget is good and it is good for the people. So what they do is they manipulate, uh, you know, by asking the mutual fund house to you know buy whenever there is a fall so that the sentiment of the market stays positive 
and you know it shouldn't happen that on a budget day uh, you know market is falling post the budget so to avoid that or to uh, you know support it what they do is they ask the uh, government oriented mutual fund house to support the market like for example lic so these are all government funded mutual fund houses so obviously like it's our money so they use it to support the market to bring it in a positive sentiment but today see now the budget is over and the market is back to its normal mode fis are also selling di also sold so if fis amount would have been uh, lesser than this di's amount would have been definitely more okay so cash market selling so the market sentiment still continues to be bearish like till the time fis don't start you know buying in huge quantities uh, the market is going to be choppy like this and the most uh, problem is it is very volatile so a lot of time what happens is you know you think that i want to buy a particular share at a particular price and you miss it out and it shows a tremendous increase of 100 150 points in over two or three days but then it gradually comes back to the same place so the best example is reliance okay so this is the stage as of now so let's quickly check the participant wise open interest so the participant wise open interest seems interesting and i can see bearish positions being built so today since it was expiry we will not focus on the options because everywhere you will just find close long and uh, sorry here yeah, close long and close short so we'll just avoid the options and we'll see what happened in futures because that also gives us a very good idea uh, like last we saw that uh, FIs were continuously selling futures but on the day of uh, budget they had to switch over their positions and they went long in futures but however if you see now uh, they have closed their long positions uh, somewhat but they have created a good number of short positions uh, this is just a Thursday but still they have created a very good number of short positions and similarly if you look at pros they have closed good number of long positions in future and they have created some short positions so definitely they think that you know market is going to face a resistance here and let's quickly check out stock futures also So if you look at stock futures, uh, FIs have closed their long positions and they have created a lot of short positions in futures and pros are opposite. They have created long positions in futures and short positions, uh, very little amount of short positions. But however, uh, I have already told you that FIs have been continuously selling even in the stock future. So only I think there was a couple of days when we saw the uh, number in a positive manner but if you remember i had told you like this number has to be positive throughout and the effect comes in place after like about two weeks but again we are back to the normal uh, we have future shots even in stocks so the trend continues to remain uh, bearish or sideways is what we can say so right now looking at the futures of index uh, definitely we can expect some more bearishness in the market let's quickly check out the open interest so first thing is bank nifty so bank nifty is have opened next week so here if you see uh, obviously like the support is scattered and quite far so we have 39000 as a support and we can see that a lot of call writing has happened even today so that means 39000 people have created straddle uh, which is a good option uh, because it's Friday tomorrow and till the time the FIs do not build up their positions, uh, you know, you get a chance to actually uh, wait and see what they have done and then you speculate and take your trade accordingly. So, but right now we have a very good support at 38,500 and a strong resistance here at 40,000. Okay. So, even if you check out the put call ratio it is on the bearish side uh, it is around 0 0.71 so keep this in mind so put call ratio also matters especially when you have to find reversals like when it reaches around 0 0.5 uh, you can definitely uh, watch that bank nifty or nifty it may reverse 
now let's quickly check out nifty as well so nifty is definitely looking uh, you know bearish than bank nifty first thing is the put call ratio it is at 0 0.62 and bank nifty was at 0 0.71 so definitely nifty is bearish than bank nifty and if you see the support is again scattered and they are quite far but look at the resistance that we have they're just standing in each and every strike so nifty is definitely going to have trouble going upside and today if you see a lot of people have sold these call options starting 17 600 700 800 900 so this shows confidence in the call writers that the market is going to stay below okay so now let's move on to the charts and discuss what are the levels that we should be trading so the first thing is uh, so i've marked two lines here uh, the reason is now we'll consider this to be a zone from 39100 to 39150 so if you see the the actual closing of bank nifty is at 38.880 however the average weighted price closing is at 39,010 so in case if bank nifty opens flat there is a high possibility that it may open somewhere here which will look like a gap up but we are going to target this area in case if we get bank nifty around 3900 to 39,150 definitely we're going to look for a put opportunity here and our target should be 38 800 should be the first target and then if it is coming down then there is a high possibility we may consolidate here and break down further and that will lead to a fall until the next support which comes in at this place somewhere close to 38 500 okay so let me just put up a line here so by doing this it will also fill the gap okay so this is that plate a uh, place around 38 490 38 500 so once we break 38 800 we are going to see see a fall around 38 500 but let me just tell you this 38 800 is going to be an important level okay so this level is a uh, level which which will help us to understand what will be the trend further in case if you see bank nifty you know coming here and forming a uh, price action which is uh, in the bullish side the higher highs and the higher lows then there is a possibility that uh, it may not break this okay so this is a very important level so below this bank nifty will become bearish and till the time it is staying above this level bank nifty may test 40000 for sure but for that bank nifty has to stay above this level so let's see uh, what happens so initially our plan is like if we open within this range and if it breaks this low okay we'll immediately enter into the put uh, at least it will fall until uh, this level to fill the gap which is around 38600 and then there is a possibility it may immediately retrace and then it may do some consolidation here and then decide whether to break this or to go up okay and any gap up uh, around 3900 to 39150 definitely we are going to buy put here uh, with a small sl because in immediately if you think it is moving to 39200 then uh, definitely uh, i think it may try to consolidate in this place so your sl would just be about 40 50 points when you get in here okay so let's also discuss what if bank nifty gaps down so gap down if it is a small gap down see uh, you must keep in mind the closing uh, price is 39,010. okay so if it is opening gap down at this place obviously we'll see some profit booking uh, we'll see where it goes to and in case if it fills the gap and you know then it comes down here and then again goes up will not do anything but definitely if it reaches this place we are going to take a put trade okay but right now i'm not suggesting any call trade because uh, let it show some reversal because this is the first time uh, that after uh, like two three days of buying we have seen some sort of a profit booking and that profit booking may continue 
further also. So any gap down near this level, definitely we are not uh, going to buy put here. We we'll look for a reversal, maybe a double bottom kind of a thing or any other reversal candle. And based on that, we can take an entry for the upside until the gap, which is around 38,900. So keep this in mind. Now let's quickly check out Nifty. So today also, if you see, uh, Nifty actually came down uh, in a better way. Okay, it did not confuse people. Whereas Bank Nifty was a little difficult to trade. Uh, the only reason is, see, it came down here. It consolidated in this place. I told you that if it breaks this, then we are going to test this. But before breaking, it went all the way to day high. And then it came back and then it broke. So this was definitely confusing, even for me. Okay, so but Nifty was performing well. It was continuously coming down. But yes, uh, we saw some bounces. This was to uh, decay the premiums. But however, uh, you know, as soon as it broke 624, it immediately came down to this level. So it closed at 520. However, the closing price based on average weight, weight price, it is 17,560. So 17,560 is somewhere here. So in case if we get nifty at this place definitely we are going to buy a put and a first target would be 17520 and there is a high possibility that we may break this level and fall further to i think it's 17450 yeah it's 17405 so the next support directly comes at 17400 so a good uh, 150 point fall we can catch and nifty when you're not supposed to by a put is if you see a significant gap up so when i say significant gap up the gap up should be above 17650 okay if we see a gap up then it may consolidate here for some time and whichever side it breaks that side we are going to trade this may happen in the second half post 12 pm but any flat opening and if it breaks this immediately we are definitely going to set it put here or any opening or if it goes in this place we are also going to buy a put here and if nifty gaps down what should be the plan so gap down if it's a small gap down say it gaps down here then we'll wait for it for a pullback here and then again if it closes below this line is when we are going to buy a put okay so we'll not directly enter here because there is a possibility it may these days the market is very volatile it may even attempt this place so if it is attempting this place we'll buy a put but in case if it's opening with a small gap down and if it's filling the gap and it's consolidating and then if it is breaking this level again we'll buy a put and this is our target i hope uh, things are clear and people uh, i hope that you also enjoy the video and understand this in case if there is any knowledge gap or anything that you may want to understand you can definitely write uh, in the comment section i'll try to reply or in case if it's a common doubt then uh, i may come up with a video too thank you for watching uh, let's see another video till then take care bye bye